<sighs> Notification bell just rang. They told me that a video just came out by Random Encounters, Shovel Werewolf, episode 3, for season 4. The headphones are already ready. Let's get this party started. I want to know what happens next. It's pretty much like any good series. You always want to know what happens next. We've got 10 minutes of beautiful knowledge. Let's let Let's allow this knowledge into our big brain. So, I didn't even introduce anything. Hello, YouTube, this is Small Gamer, and today we are back at it with another reaction to Shovel Werewolf Season 4. I feel like this has been a very, I feel like this will be a good weekly thing to watch. Um, nothing has come out at the moment for Anime Encounters. Um, I already am going to be recording the next two episodes, um, next two reactions for the weekend after this, so look forward to that. Anyway, until then, <sighs> let's do this. Three, two, one. Dr. Ivan Ostrow, after a freak That's accident, good. extended good. exposure to bad, bad video games now, now, now causes him to transform good. into the, the Shovel Werewolf. Forced by his captors to test unique game controllers, a sinister Power. entity pulls strings from the shadows, guiding him down a path he is yet unaware of. Why are you so fantasizing? What about? in good gravy is that thing? <laughs> That's a big thing. This is oh the no, the original style. Xbox. We Finally, we get to see a game by the original Xbox. It is complex Xbox. beyond our mind's capacity. We do not understand it. <laughs> Neither does he. I'm not sure I understand it either. And that is why we delivered it here to you. For you to find out. Why didn't you just beam it down like everything else? Our suffering through our jobs. <laughs> I love how he's finding out exactly Prince what's Tricky. going on. Like, he's like telling them good things. When do I get to meet him? Prince Tricky does not waste time consorting with lowly earthling test subjects. Of course not. Just making bumbling alien knuckleheads lug around his trash collection. You, you make, make a valid, valid point. point. Get, Get to work. work. <laughs> he makes a very valid point. <sighs> Whatever. Guess I'll set this thing up. That's a big... Wow. This thing came with its own hex wrench for assembly? Prince Tricky does not mess around. I don't think he was pretty... Oh. Was that a glitter lava lamp? I just thought it's a glitter lava lamp or something. Or is that just a normal lava lamp? Still the time. Oh time my god, where did he roll. get those glasses? Came I have to enter a birthday too? What are you gonna ask for next? My social security number? Or my home address? <laughs> In the following six months of rigorous training, you'll be pushed beyond your limits. I've already been pushed beyond my limits, buddy. The M7 Decider. I'm sure you've at least heard the name. You played two link games. Really? Both was the terrible. M7 pick and chooser not an option? What? A surprise attack? How not very surprising. My leg. My Is leg. The in the hangar operation. I'll pilot it. Hold them off, sir. Time to shine, kid. Destiny awaits us. You don't have the qualification to pilot a PT. I think I can do it looking at the manual, sir. Read the manual? No thanks. I was born to pilot this thing. <laughs> I just love how he's acting so cool this time. Maybe I was I... born to just uh, sit inside this thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we are. <laughs> Who needs a user manual when I have backlit buttons? Alright, now we're moving. It sure would be easier to shoot this guy if this thing could drive straight. Now that he's dead, let's just drive straight into this wall. Like an idiot. Come on, you piece of trash. Is that actually being a calm person? Oh, no, 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 he's getting... He's getting beyond... Yeah. Finally, somewhere free of the tyranny of janky walls. Except now I'm going sideways. And my gun is covering my face. Who the heck drives and shoots a thing like this? 
The glasses have been God, taken off. God, you hunk of junk! Soon. Wait, he's wearing glasses on the glasses. more responsive than this thing. Just turn and aim. He has a big way, indeed. Why are you being so difficult? Killed in action. You insubordinate piece of... I don't know. <laughs> Feels like he's having a heart attack these days. Still orange. Unless it's the colour of the um, underneath, I'll have to check that. Fine, you win. I'll read the manual. The average movement of middle-level VTs is 100 kilometers per hour. The FSS analyzes the target VT's movement pattern, the distance of bullet flight, and amount of time the round will be in the air. GCS is a system that uses war strategy data and the newest information to increase the effectiveness of the VT to its maximum. <sighs> Did I just read an instruction manual or someone's dissertation? How would the average person understand any of this? I'm a scientist, and I barely understood any of this. <sighs> here we go like... again, I guess. Aw, oh, shoot. Here we go again. <sighs> I've fallen, and I can't get up! Seriously though, can I even get back up? Or do I just have to lay here and wait for the sweet release of death? <laughs> ah, there we go. Thanks, buddy. Just what the doctor ordered. Boy, would I. Expected to do anything in this game when I can't even defeat the first freaking enemy. <laughs> Finally, I can continue with the rest of the level now. <laughs> Well, at least I've mastered the falling over and dying mechanic, because I sure as heck can't do anything else properly! Bet you didn't expect that! Uh, to be fair, though, I didn't expect that! No, I didn't either. Yeah. I don't expect anything in this video, because I never played the game anyway, so... <laughs> it's just showing me that I shouldn't play this game. Wait! I beat the level? Why the heck was it so simple that time? Is the game taking pity on me or something? Come for the futuristic mech warfare, stay for the educational slideshow. Is this a game or someone's TED talk? Wait, that entire thing was a tutorial? You're telling me that I haven't even played an actual mission yet? Way to make me feel like a complete moron game. I'm probably the first person in history to even see this level! I can't imagine anyone out there being masochistic enough to even complete the tutorial. Even after reading the entire manual, it doesn't become any simpler to pilot this obnoxious thing. Playing this is about as fun as replacing the wires on an air conditioning unit. Huh. Probably not funny. Took me 600 tries to complete the tutorial, but I beat mission one on the first try. <laughs> well, that's what I call a balanced game. Very balanced. <sighs> Here we go again with this crap. <sighs> okay, mission two. Let's try this again. Hey, where's my pilot? He died. You have got to be freaking kidding me! This game has permadeath? Why wasn't this mentioned in the tutorial? What genius thought it would be a grand idea for a game as complicated as this one to have permadeath? 
It's already a six million step process just to start up and maneuver this thing without having to hit the eject button before exploding. Surely the players won't mind if we delete their characters and force them to start over from scratch. Well, guess what, dirtbags? I mind! I mind! Prince Trick! Wait, wait, hang on a second. He's part. He looks. He can. He's like they called the force or something. My prince. Shouldn't we have let him destroy it? No! The controller cost too much on eBay to allow him to destroy it. But his rage was just approaching viable power levels. Do you question me? Now go on! Get out of my sight! Go prepare the next test! We's in the end game now, shovel werewolf. <laughs> No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Where did Ivan get these sick aviators? What flavor is this lollipop? Where do they shop for their lava lamps? How the heck is this guy even alive still? Like, WTF, man. <laughs> Tune in next time <laughs> to WTF, The Shovel man. Werewolf. <gasps> Sorry, I've never been so interested in a series like that. Oh my god! Buffalo Bob? I think Random Counts just really wanted another way to get that guy back. <laughs> They're like, we need Buffalo Bob back. Buffalo Bob, dang it, I keep saying Buffalo Bob. Buffalo Bob sounds better. No, they wanted to find a way to get Biffalo Bob back. So they were like, hmm, I know, let's make him Prince Tricky as well. I think he just probably... I'm just questioning the whole thing. I'm glad I didn't read the comments because they even spoil the whole thing. Why is everyone talking about everything except Biffle Bob's return? And his false pals. Wait, yeah! That actually leaves a lot of questions now. Because first I thought he died back in the end of season three. Uh, I might show you a clip now. Um, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you his death scene. Now that's what I call a claws encounter of the bird kind. <laughs> yeah, like, he died. And then, how? I'm questioning everything. Like, did they, when they kill people, do they, like, transport them? Like, how does this work? And they leaves a lot of questions. How many Biffalo Bobs are there? There could be more Biffalo Bobs, maybe that's hence why that happened. Eh, lots of questions are going to be left here. We will never know. Ooh. Anyway, that's all for this episode of More Gamer Reacts to Shovel Werewolf because he has no life. I have no life, by the way. No, I, I seriously don't. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. How the heck is Biffle and Bob still alive? We saw him get Biffle and the blasted to smithereens. <laughs> Prince Tricky indeed, am I right? But like the force power, how did it? How in the world did he, does he have force powers? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> is he like a force ghost or something? How in the world has he got force powers as well as being a human that shops for clothing and wears a weird Jurassic Park mask? Lots of questions. <laughs> um. Anyway, bye guys, and I will see you in the next video. Good bye. What? You haven't joined the Mold Gamer Discord? Pfft. You know it's fun, right? I'm not supposed to give you my opinion, but give it a try. And then you can tell me if it's good or not. Not convinced yet? Okay, I'll cut you a deal. The link is in the description for free. And that's a great price.